Hey guys, how you doing? It's Josh from J Media. It's 102 degrees outside in Los Angeles, California, so the air conditioning is blasting. So if you hear that weird noise in the back, I do apologize. I'm actually getting over a cold right now as we speak, so if my voice sounds a little bit different from my recent videos, <laughs> that's why. Today we're going to be comparing two stabilizers. Obviously you already know the ones that I have from my recent videos. They are the, uh, the Optica SteadyVid Pro and the Lang P-03. These are two cheap stabilizers that do get you great shots. We're going to be comparing the two stabilizers. I'm going to be showing you how each of them operate, how they operate differently, and how the footage looks on each stabilizer. I'm going to be using the 5D Mark II today for these shots. And a lot of you have been asking me what camera I shoot these videos on. I am actually shooting on a Canon XF305 right now. So if you don't know what camera that is, Google it. Uh, it's actually quite a great camera. I love it. Alright, so let's go ahead and get on with the video. Alright guys, here we have the Optica SteadyVid Pro. The 5D Mark II is now balanced on it. And we're going to go ahead and fly the stabilizer. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and press record on the 5D. Alright. There we are. All right. Now, if you watch my uh, recent videos on the Optica SteadyVid Pro, I do have a full review on the product, the negatives, and the positives. It is only $150, and compared to the other expensive stabilizers out there, you're going to have quite a bit of flaws on it. But if you overcome these flaws, you can. If you can deal with them, you can actually get pretty decent shots with this stabilizer. Let's go ahead and fly it. Now looking back at the Optica SteadyVid Pro footage, you can notice that it sways a little bit. To be honest, uh, I do need a repractice with the stabilizer since I don't often use it too much. But mainly when you're watching that clip, mainly focus on if you see any vibration in the footage because that's what a stabilizer's main purpose is, to eliminate all vibration. So I know it, it tilts a little bit or uh, it leans over to his side a little bit. Try and ignore that. Um, I do have to practice more on that Optica SteadyVid Pro since it is a more difficult stabilizer to use. But mainly focus on the vibration. If you see any vibration in the footage. All right, so let's go ahead and turn to the Lang P-03 stabilizer. Uh, let's go ahead and shoot some test footage. Now this stabilizer is extremely similar to the Glidecam HD series stabilizers and they actually produce, this stabilizer actually produces the same footage that you would get from a glide cam. Quality is exactly the same, okay? If not, this one beats it a little bit since it's carbon fiber and uh, it lets you change the position of the gimbal. Also, it has another feature of turning into a monopod. All right, let's go ahead and bring it out. All right, here's the Lang P-03. As you can see, it has a glide cam uh, design, this type of stabilizer. And uh, let's go ahead and fly it. All right, live view on. And we are now recording. <laughs>
let's go ahead and play back both video clips at the same time so you guys can compare the two stabilizers side by side. you can see that the Lang P-03 is actually a, quite a bit more stable. It doesn't sway, it doesn't tilt, and it does not lean over to different sides. It has a better center of gravity, a lot more control since you're able to use both hands a lot better than on the Optica SteadyBit Pro. You have more use with the left hand on the Lang than you do on the Optica, all right? And if you guys do have a glide cam or this type of style stabilizer like a Wieldy or, or a Lang, it's really important that you keep your right elbow or left elbow in, whichever one is holding the handle. If you leave it out and you walk, your camera will actually move up and down while you're walking. But if you keep your elbow in and lock to your side, the chances are that you won't actually see the up and down motion when you walk. I actually figured that out the hard way. I was actually in Australia uh, about a month ago and I was traveling over there and I noticed that if I have my elbow out like this, I see a lot of that up and down stuff when I walk. But if I keep my elbow in and locked, there's no way I can see it. So that's a really helpful tip. I learned the hard way, unfortunately, but it does work if you keep your elbow in. You get a lot better footage that way. I do have some sample footage from the Lang P-03. You can go ahead and click on this video or this video. They were actually both shot in Australia and uh, I hope you guys like it and please feel free to check out my website at joshmorganmedia.com. If you have any more questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Thank you. Happy shooting.